another Mandela effect concerning the maps this was brought to my attention a few weeks ago and uh, Nobleness D made a video about it so I managed to see some of the second part of his video this morning and I uh, really just uh, you know went on to this site and do you notice anything may be wrong with this map this is a map of Russia you see anything perhaps hmm it's not really ringing true perhaps Europe anyone Poland Lithuania anyone if I put my little guy over there what am I going to see Roman Catholic parish of what hmm something smells a bit fishy to me let's put a little man down there I, don't, I think that's Poland actually I wonder if the Catholic Church are responsible for this I don't know if that's a dog or a woman but anyway um yeah the obvious you know, I got to admit, I was just looking at a map of Europe just a few weeks ago, and I saw this, and it's like Russian letters. And, you know, you look at it and you go, well, something wrong here, but maybe it's part of Poland, or maybe, you know, I'm just a little bit uneducated. We're from the UK, so we're, we're not from Europe, remember? <laughs> so it's just like a foreign land to us. But, um... Yeah, there, there's there's definitely, definitely. This wasn't here before. <laughs> I think I'd be right in saying that. Um, anyone, nine people out of ten possibly would, would say that. Uh, this is different. This is something new. And um, incidentally, this is a size map where you can. It morphs. The further you take it to the equator, which proves it's not a flat Earth. Yes, not a flat Earth. So this is about the actual size of Russia. Well, it's about one and a half times, maybe twice the size of Australia. It's, it's not as big as we thought, you know, if we rotate that. It's only... It's not even as big as Africa. Russia there, there is here I think it's slightly bigger than South America maybe possibly slightly bigger than South America landmass wise and let's see if it's bigger than America and it seems to be a little bit bigger yeah possibly bigger than the United States I'm not sure if it's bigger than the US and Canada put together uh, I'm not really sure about that let's put it back where it belongs back in Europe again <laughs> somewhere in Europe which is actually Russia Europe Russia Euro Russia and then you end up instantaneously at a drugs factory <laughs> And our Mandela affected nobleness D talks about, you know, this part of Sweden coming all the way down very close to Germany. That perhaps we, some of us don't recall the land being as close to Central Europe. I remember Norway being up here, uh, Sweden coming down, okay. Th these little parts of the land, well, questionable, but this something else man I mean you know you could just be in Europe driving along next thing you're in Russia I mean come on man this is new this actually looks like uh, Scotland a little bit <laughs> looks like Hamilton actually a little bit it's half a, half a person there you know you could just be driving along Europe next thing you're in Russia then back in Europe again 
this is um very very new very new very strange i wonder what the actual people in russia think of actually being part of europe now <laughs> Street and uh, Guzef. Um, what was that? Kalining, Kaliningrad Oblast. I thought I just found a very interesting building with something. Let's try and just zoom in. That looks like a nuclear symbol, right? In the middle. And then a sun. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pointed star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. And this is in Russia, but it's in Europe. Uh, everything is in Russian. The street names are in Russian. Um. It's not actually letting, letting me go near that building. I'll try again. Get a little bit closer to it. And it's taking me another route. I think it's back here, isn't it? Nah, it's not let, letting me go near there. I can zoom in though. It's probably just it looks like a shopping center. With this sun symbol, whatever it is, there. Gusev, that's what I was checking out. That's the place. Um, let's try this place. Volodid Volodino. Let's try there. Not very interesting. Mm, this looks like a town. Russian town in Europe. Not much happening, is it? I wonder if they play in the Russian Football League, or they play in the Lithuanian Football League, or the Polish Football League, or very, very, very strange. Be a lot of investigation uh, into this, I think. Uh, if it doesn't spark enough interest, you know, I don't have time to do all this research, but um, obviously if anyone knows anything about it, you know, do, do share if you're from that area, which, um, you know, I speak a different language, of course, so you're not going to be able to communicate, but who knows. Maybe one of my subscribers are Russian and find it a little bit um, strange that a part of Russia is now in Central Europe. I don't know how these Central Europeans love to party. <laughs> what is going on, man? We'll have a look down here <coughs> at the major city. Proper little guy down. Let's go down here. Kaliningrad Oblast again. I don't know. It's the same. Ah, it's weird, man. It's just came saying the same thing. Ulista Wagnera. Vagnera. We could do some um, new roads, I think. Or they should extend their roads. Where's the cathedral again? I thought there was a cathedral around here. Hmm. Excuse me, where is the cathedral? No McDonald's. <laughs> Thank God, must be must be a good place then. 
drugs deal, you've been caught there. Uh, beep beep. Now this guy's really persistent, man. Let's have a little uh, view over the water there. Oh, he's been caught. The Google camera. There's some interesting architecture. And is that trams and is it a road down there? Well, let's go down down to this road. Let's go down here. Oh, it's not letting us down. Go down there. Come on. Ah. The little guy at the cathedral, and I seem to have landed on a roof somewhere. <laughs> it's all been, uh, all the letters have been um, blotted out for some reason. Well, we can just check over the view of the city. <laughs> some nice fresh air in Russia, in Europe. Is that a Catherine wheel over there? Ah, where am I now? Where am I now, man? <laughs> a cathedral out the window. Still can't get over there. Can't get out of this building. There it is over there. Some interesting buildings over there I want to get to. I can't get out of here, man. <laughs> Cathedral, but it just doesn't seem to be any signs or writing. I think they use it for a concert hall as well, as far as I'm aware. Let's see. I can't even get down there. Kind of like. But I think because of the Second World War, there'd be some history about this area. Kaliningrad just north of Poland right next to Germany you would you would think the Germans would be all over this place you'd think the Russians would be really like trying to defend it, they'd think there'd be a big history about that you know so here's an explanation of this city now oh, we have the cathedral here Kaliningrad is the capital of Russian province of the same name sandwiched between Poland and Lithuania along the Baltic coast dubbed Konigsberg during and there's a lager called that as well I'm aware of that I used to drink lager and beer centuries of Parisian rule the city was largely reconstructed after World War II trace of its German heritage can be seen in surviving Brandenburg Gate Riverside Fishing Village, a dining and shopping destination. Recreated medieval style buildings. Hmm. Interesting. Konigsberg. Well, I, rem I remember that name. This name is, uh, I mean, this name is new. I mean, I remember this name. Probably been maybe part of Lithuania, maybe part of Poland or something, but I just do not recollect this this landmass. Here it is right here. Here's the Baltic coast. Estonia, Estonia seems to be a little bit further away than I remember, but you know, I, haven't they swapped places? I mean, this is Russia. Shouldn't Estonia be here and this part of Russia be over here? Like next to the other part of Russia, you know? <laughs> uh, well. Well, this is the history of it. There's a cathedral again. Or is, I don't know if it's the same one. <laughs> That's the one we visited. This is a different one. Let's see what that one is. Oh, it's just a picture. Um, East Perugia. Okay. It's heavily damaged. 
population fled or was removed by force, became a Russian city. Well, it seems the maps did change after the Second World War. It's just that uh, maybe a few of us have really not caught up with the, the history of it, but... Uh, well, it's an interesting one. Let's just see. Could it be a Mandela effect? I'm not really sure. But uh, it seems to have a history. And this is just a little bit of history about the Battle of Konigsberg. Um, so you can read through it. I do apologize for the trains. Thanks for watching.